gonna, I'm gonna tell you this, you know, straight up. It's, it's gonna be an amazing concert. Really, it's gonna be something you don't wanna miss. The Brook is really a fantastic piece. And, you know, um, it's fireworks and you know, a lot of emotion and then, you know, the slow movement, it's just gonna be, it's, you're not gonna be disappointed. So I think you need to come and I will see you here. Uh, actually, it's my third time here in Colombia. I love it. I, I, I'm always saying South America, I'll come to Colombia. So it's one of my favorite places in the world. And I'm not just saying that. I, I, I honestly feel that way. So. But I'll be playing the Bruch Violin Concerto um, with uh, Maestro Olivier um, conducting. Uh, we just had our um, first rehearsal, actually. Uh, went very, very well. Orchestra sounds fantastic. Amazing hall. You know, great warm sound. You know, the enthusiasm is really there. You know that you got that corazón right there. So it's, it sounds really, really amazing. And Master Olivier, is, he's he's really fantastic. We've, I think, we mesh together very, very well. The piece itself, um, Bruch, is a actually uh, within the classical community, it's a very famous piece because, or especially with violinists, uh, because I think on the road to becoming um, a professional, every violinist plays this piece. Um, it's one of the first like, difficult pieces you play. From beginning to end, you'll be completely engaged. Um, it sounds, it's so romantic, so romantic. So I think it's perfect for Latin America, you know? You know, it's, it's, it's amazing if you think about it. 110 years. This is, you know, 110 uh, aniversario. So that's that's quite impressive if you think about it. Like, back in the early, early 1900s, you know, Japan and Colombia had already, you know, declared their friendship and, you know, and relations. And I, th I guess maybe if you're, you know, a Colombiano, it's, it's very, it's, you know, it's, maybe it's some common knowledge. But for us, like, I, I, I live in America most of the time and also in Japan. I think this is a very little known fact that, you know, um, relationships between Japan and many South American countries, but in particular Colombia, have been this, you know, long and, you know, deep for, you know, like over a century now. So I think it, it is definitely historic, as you say. You know, I think you bring up a great point. You know, the violin is a very romantic instrument because I think it's, it feels like a, you know, like a human voice, you know, sort of a high human voice. So it's, it's, you can convey emotions, you know, sort of intense emotions pretty well, I think. Um, I started the violin actually mainly because my family is all comprised of violinists. My father, my mother, my sister. So, you know, it was just natural to play the violin. And so it just kind of you know, fell into that. And I've been doing it ever since.